Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build price and option a 2021 Chrysler 300S with the optional V8 engine, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The 2021 Chrysler 300 sedan has been around in its current form for a decade now. Highlights include an attractive cabin design, plenty of head and leg room, and an easy to use infotainment system. Chrysler has done a great job at keeping this aging four-door sedan current. A muscular V8 engine is available too. The 2021 Chrysler 300 is a large sedan sold in three trim levels, Touring, Touring L, and S. All trims come standard with a 3.6 liter V6 engine and an eight speed automatic transmission. In the Touring and Touring L, this engine produces 292 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque. In the S model, that bumps the power up slightly to 300 horsepower and 264 pound-feet of torque. Optional for the 300S is a 5.7 liter V8 with 363 horsepower and 394 pound-feet of torque. Rear-wheel drive is standard across the board, though all-wheel drive is available on the Touring and Touring L trims. The base model Chrysler 300 is the Touring, and it has a starting price of $31,045. And actually, the Chrysler 300 Touring comes well-equipped with 17-inch wheels, heated mirrors, keyless entry and ignition, dual-zone automatic climate control, auto-dimming rear-view mirrors, power-adjustable driver's seat, 60-40 split folding rear seat, 8.4-inch touchscreen, 6-speaker audio system, satellite, radio, and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration. And actually, if you select this model with all-wheel drive, you actually get 19-inch wheels instead of 17-inch wheels. Two packages are available for the Touring to enhance its looks from the outside. The Chrome Appearance Package includes chrome exterior trim elements, while the Sport Appearance Package substitutes a blacked-out treatment both at 20 inch wheels. The Touring L has a starting MSRP of $34,045 and selecting the Touring L adds 18 inch wheels, though you get 19 inch wheels if you get it with all wheel drive. There's also remote engine start, auto dimming driver's side mirror, power adjustable passenger seat, heated front seats, leather upholstery, front and rear parking sensors, and blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert. The chrome appearance and sport appearance packages are also available for the Touring L. Other notable packages include the Comfort Group, which includes Xenon headlights, power adjustable and heated steering wheel, driver's seat memory settings, ventilated front seats, heated rear seats, power rear sunshade, and a six-speaker Alpine audio system. There's also the Safety Tech Plus Group, which includes four collision mitigation, lane departure warning, adaptive cruise control, and a six-speaker Alpine audio system. Lastly, there's a popular equipment group, which includes the panoramic sunroof, a navigation system, and a nine-speaker Alpine audio system. The 2021 Chrysler 300S with the V6 engine has a starting MSRP of $37,995, upgrading to the range topping 300S, adds 20-inch wheels, a sport tuned suspension, black painted exterior styling elements, paddle shifters, sport front seats, and a premium Alpine audio system. If you want your Chrysler 300S with a V8 engine like I do, the starting price is $41,995. And here's what you get. You get that V8 engine, you get an aerodynamic body kit, you get the integrated navigation system, and the nine speaker Alpine audio system. Optional packages for the S include the S appearance package, which is for the V6 only and gives you the aerodynamic body kit. Other packages include the comfort group, the popular equipment group, and the safety tech plus group. We are going to build and price a 300S with the V8, but unless you really want the optional V8 in the 300S, I think the Touring L offers the best bang for your buck. It doesn't cost much more than the Touring, and it adds some nice luxury touches and safety items. Perhaps more important is the greater breadth of customization offered by numerous available option packages. Okay, let's get into this build and price review of the 2021 Chrysler 300. Real quick before we get started, I just want to remind you to take a look at some of my other related build and price reviews. I've put links in the description below. I recently did a build and price review of the 2021 Dodge Charger Scat Pack Wide Body, and I think that if you like the Chrysler 300S, then you're definitely going to like the Dodge Charger Scat Pack Wide Body. So, after you watch this video, make sure you watch that video as well. 
Okay, let's check the exterior colors for the 2021 Chrysler 300. This color here is bright white, gloss black, amethyst, granite crystal, silver mist, ocean blue, frostbite, velvet red, and canyon sunset. It's worth noting that the, uh, the S model, the S trim level does get a limited color palette. As you can see here, it gets a lot less colors. Let's check out the gallery. I have always liked the 300S, especially since this redesign and the Sport just looks so good with the V8. This one's shown in white. It's got the 20-inch wheels. Very beautiful. Here's a Sport. Obviously, we know that because it's got the S on the seats. Very nice. Nice front fascia grill there. Uh, I think this one's the Touring L with the Sport Appearance Package. Man, that looks nice, doesn't it? There's nothing wrong with this car. It might be a little antiquated, the 300, meaning it's it's down on tech compared to other sedans, that's for sure. But it is a good-looking American muscle car. And I think so, with some with a definite class of luxury. Uh, you got the Byzenian lights there. There's the honeycomb grill. I doubt you're going to have yours out in the dirt to show the all-wheel drive system. But, uh, yeah, you can if you need to go down a dusty dirt road. It'll handle it, even if it doesn't have four-wheel drive, I'm sure. Here's one out in the city showing the sport appearance package. Those sports seats in red. Uh, I'm not sure about what size these wheels are. This one looks to be a Touring. This one's got a sport appearance package on it. I love the instrument cluster. It's a little old school, but it's got the most important thing for me. It's got the digital uh, speedometer, which I love, and it's uh, in very big font. Very cool. That's good enough. All right, let's move on. Okay, let's check the features for the 2021 Chrysler 300, starting with the performance features, and after we get done looking over the features, then we'll go ahead and do the build. So here they're showing us some horsepower numbers, uh, specifically the horsepower numbers of the 5.7 liter uh, Hemi V8 engine, 363 horsepower, 394 uh, pound-feet of torque, and 0 to 60 in 6 seconds. But there's also the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine. It comes in either 292 horsepower in standard trim, or if you get the S, it has 300 horsepower. We covered this aspect as well. All-wheel drive is available, but not if you get the S. Speaking of S, here they're showing the S right here, and they're talking about the sport mode that's standard, whether you get the V6 or whether or not you get the V8 engine. And down here, they're just telling us that the 5.7 liter Hemi V8 has fuel saver technology, which is wonderful. So let's move on to design features. And one of the cool design features is if you get the Chrysler 300S with the V8 engine that comes with the 5.7 uh, Hemi V8, then you get the SRT front fascia, which I think is very cool. Also, if you get the V8 engine, you get the standard U-Connect with the 4C navigation, the integrated navigation, the nine-speaker premium Alpine audio system with a subwoofer as well. Then you have to love those seats. They are very nice. So whether you get a V6 or a V8, you get very uh, nice seats. You get the 20-inch wheels, uh, and these seats are leather trim seats, which is something that I like over the uh, Dodge Charger Scat Pack widebody because for as nice as it is, you can't get full leather seats on that car. So let's talk about some of the lighting. So they say there's an available uh, adaptive high-intensity discharge headlamps with automatic leveling. Uh, that monitor the steering angle and all that kind of stuff, and they can uh, increase visibility around curves. And then there's also available automatic high beam headlamps that can switch between high and low beam uh, when they think it's needed. So let's look through the wheel options. I don't, I don't know if they're going to actually, well, I guess there is no slider for the wheel options there. They're just letting us know that there are wheel designs from 17, 18, 19, and 20 inch sizes. So a lot of variety there. So the Chrysler 300 has a best in class interior space. It features dual zone temperature control. As you know, you can get it a, a dual uh, pane panoramic sunroof. Uh, leather wrap steering wheel, all that good stuff. And uh, you can also get heated eight weight power leather trim seats. And the Chrysler 300 is a very nice car. Sure, it's not, uh, it's no Mercedes or Audi in its technology, but it's very nice. So here we can see some different seats. So these are the standard seats. These are the black cloth, linen cloth, black and smoke Napa leather trim. These are standard on the 300S V6 and 300S V8. Here's black Napa leather trim seats also for the 300S. Here's black Napa leather trim seats that come on the Chrysler 300 Touring L. You can see they do not have a sporting design or the linen Napa leather for the 300 Touring L. And we've got the other available seats here. Got some black 
Napa leather trim. Got some two tones. We've got those reds, a couple different styles. Got the linen Napa. These are for the Touring L and the black. So a lot of different styles. They give you a lot of configurability and that's cool. And maybe that's what keeps this car relevant. Okay, let's check the technology features for the 2021 Chrysler 300. They say right up here at the top, largest standard touchscreen in its class. What we're looking at here is the Uconnect 4C and the Uconnect 4C Nav. Both are on the 8.4 inch touchscreen. Both systems have an integrated voice command, Bluetooth streaming audio, Sirius XM, and 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot. When you get the Uconnect 4C Nav, which is standard on the 300S with the V8, you get navigation and you get Sirius XM Traffic Plus and Sirius XM Travel Link. Uh, and I guess with with five years of service, that's a pretty good deal, isn't it? There's also Apple CarPlay support. There's Android Auto integration. And yeah, we talked about that 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot. Uh, passengers can stream and browse uh, and share up to eight mobile devices. So that's pretty cool. I still am not a fan of that kind of stuff because most phones offer a hotspot and so that's the way i would go without having to do another service here they're showing sirius xm guardian it says it connects your vehicle in a multitude of ways uh gives you greater remote access and control and then they also talk about the available roadside assistance call and sos call and things like that here they're showing us the nine speaker alpine premium audio system with subwoofer so you can rock out in style. There's nothing to click here. I guess you're just rocking out in style. Okay, let's talk safety and security features for the 2021 Chrysler 300. Here they're talking about the available automatic safety features like uh, full speed for collision warning, uh, adaptive cruise control with stop and go. The features aren't standard, but they're there. There's also a uh, lane sense lane departure warning with lane keep assist and blind spot monitoring. Here they let us know that the, the Touring L and the S both in V6 and V8 trim offer standard park sense front and rear park assist and rear cross path detection so you can park like a pro and here's what these two features look like down here okay so we went through all the features we checked the exterior colors we checked the interior options uh, we went through the gallery now the only thing left to do is build price and option our 300 s with the V8. I think we will just keep ours in the white color. I think I like that. I wanna do the bright white exterior paint color. You only have one choice for the wheels, so they're 20 by eight inch wheels. They call them black noise aluminum wheels. Do we want to get the locking lug nuts for $75? Why not? And there's only one set of tires to be had. Okay, for the interior, I selected the red uh, ventilated leather trim sport seats. So they're, uh, they're black and red seats. We also, standard is the Uconnect 4C nav with the 8.4 inch display. We just went over all that information. And we can actually do a 360 virtual walk around of the interior and take a look at these seats. They're black and red with white stitching. The resolution is nice on this, on this uh, thing here that we can look around. Back seats look good. Door panels, right? Get a good look at everything. Oops, wrong way there. And see, that's why I don't do video games. You see, this is exactly why I don't do video games. All right, so yeah, there we go. Do we want the dual pane panoramic sunroof for two grand? Sure, why not? Notice the price change now. We're at $45,150. Next up, we've got some packages. Uh, we do have the comfort group already added. Um, that gives us a lot of stuff. Adaptive by Zenit headlamps, uh, all kinds of good stuff. Illuminated cup holders. You get a lot of stuff. Then we got the safety tech group, and that's all your safety features. And I do think we want that. I think I also wanted the interior appearance group by Mopar. Gives you the good pedals, gives you the premium carpet mats, gives you bright door sills by uh, Mopar. You know, just dresses the car up a little bit. As far as powertrains concerned, well, there's only one powertrain to go. We selected the V8 on purpose. It was a $4,000 option. Comes with an eight-speed automatic transmission. And uh, yeah, there we are. So looks like um, $47,420 out the door. So going on $50,000 certainly is a lot of money for this car. And there are certainly other sedans that offer a lot more in terms of technology and safety features and all that. But the Chrysler 300S with the V8 is very, very nice. So 
On that note, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you found this building price review of the 2021 Chrysler 300S with the V8 helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the very next video.